Meghan Markle doesn't seem to have many supporters on social media or in the press these days, but she can always count on the compassion and love of certain members of her family. From the very beginning, Markle seemed to find a kindred spirit in Prince Harry's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. The two were spotted giggling together well before Markle and Prince Harry were even married, and in the months since then, Markle has grown to lean on the older woman even more. Plus, a recent report reveals that Queen Elizabeth has Markle's best interests at heart by connecting her with people who are able to help her navigate the perils of life in the spotlight. Queen Elizabeth has shown support for Meghan Markle already. Markle and Prince Harry announced their engagement in late 2017, and while many were happy for the couple, there were a lot of haters on social media. Markle was used to living life in the spotlight to some extent, due to her career as an actress, but her connection to Prince Harry brought her a whole new level of notoriety and attention. Amongst the madness, she found comfort in a few steadfast friends, her mother, Doria Ragland, her fiancé, Prince Harry, her small inner circle of friends, and Queen Elizabeth. Many reports claimed that Queen Elizabeth was very fond of Markle right from the start. She even broke some long-standing royal traditions for Prince Harry's new love, including inviting her mother to events formerly reserved only for family and allowing Markle to stay with the family for holidays before she and Prince Harry were even married. Queen Elizabeth matched Meghan Markle up with an ideal friend. Beyond ensuring Markle's comfort day to day, it seems as though Queen Elizabeth wanted to make sure that she could set her up for success in the long run. A recent news story claims that Queen Elizabeth personally selected Sophie, Countess of Wessex, to mentor Markle through royal life. Markle and the Countess of Wessex first met at the 2018 Royal Ascot and reportedly got along quite well. Plus, the two women have quite a bit in common. The Countess of Wessex had a successful career in public relations before she married into the royal family, similarly, Markle gave up her Hollywood career in order to move to London and marry Prince Harry. In addition, the Queen is said to be quite close to the Countess of Wessex, spending a great deal of time together to discuss historical and current events. All in all, Markle could likely not find a better friend than the Countess. And now that Markle is a mother to baby Archie Harrison, she will likely have even more to chat about with her new friend. Meghan Markle could be coping with royal life better than ever. In spite of the controversies she has faced in recent months, including the photo scandal at Wimbledon, Markle truly seems happier than ever. She has been lying low, for the most part, spending the majority of her time with Archie and Prince Harry. Markle has been very choosy about the projects she takes on, only selecting those that really speak to her, like guest editing the September issue of British Vogue. Whether or not Markle's seeming peace and happiness has to do with her status as a new mother or the fact that she might have stopped allowing all the negative press to get to her is unknown, and it could be some combination of the two. In the years ahead, Markle will need all of her strength and all of her friends to survive the difficulties of royal life.